Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. The Era of Everyone Becomes a God, the Hardest God in History. Chapter 66. Although Chen Heioran has not realized any magic from the Fountain of Life yet, as a special and precious resource, the Fountain of Life can be used directly in war. At this time, the 500 Lion Heart Knights and their horses were ready. The strips of white light floating under the feet of the Hegwang white horse make it look like a mythical beast, bringing a little warm light in this dark and lightless environment. Lance Formation Commons roared vigorously. The knights slowly lined up in a wedge-shaped formation, with their lances pointing straight ahead. In the dark, the sharp lance point seems to want to choose someone to devour. For my lord, roared Commons. For my lord, the knights responded. Charge, charge, charge. In the lightless darkness, a brave and fearless knight rides a white horse with pale white light. This light seemed to pierce the dense darkness. Boom! The sound of horseshoes was like thunder, rolling in. Seeing this scene, the cavemen in the front row backed away in awe. Cave people, a race like this, are more likely to lose their courage. They saw a silver white light, which was particularly dazzling in the dark environment, rushing towards them like a blade. When he was only 500 meters away from them, Hegwang Bema suddenly activated his blood talent. Light Speed Meteor. The next moment, the light attribute energy wrapped around the four hooves became more intense. With a light kick on the ground, it seemed as if it was going to fly in the air, like a shooting star passing by. Several times in a row, the distance of 500 meters was almost reached in the next instant. Chen Heioran had already applied the Holy Shield technique to all members at this time. Under the ground, the part of the soldiers trapped in the pothole. At this time, I saw many cavemen pouring out of the densely packed passages around the pit. The rock gold trolls blocked the opening of the cave. The cave people held spears and poked desperately. Hee <laughs> hee. The rock gold trolls laughed. With the bloodline talent of metal thick skin, combined with some defensive spells with earth energy attributes, and the effect of the divine spell holy shield. It can almost be said that the defenses of these rock gold trolls are not something cavemen can break through. It has truly realized the effect that one man is in charge of the gate, and 10,000 men are not allowed to open it. Move your gaze from the ground to the surface. At this time, the knights of the Lionheart knights finally rushed in front of the cavemen. The terrified expression was fully revealed under the faint light of the Hegwang white horse. It was like bumping into tofu without any resistance. The knights carried the holy shield and smashed all the way. Wherever they passed, the flesh and blood were smashed, leaving only the broken arms and stumps on the ground. After the Hegwang white horses submerged into the army formation of the cavemen, they hardly slowed down at all, relying on their extremely fast speed. He rushed out in one breath and he didn't know how many people were killed along the way. It seems that a black wall has been painted with a white brush from left to right to the end. A zone with a width of 30 meters appeared on the battlefield, and not a single caveman was left alive. Chen Heioran made a rough calculation, and with this one stroke, thousands of cavemen were wiped out. After breaking through the formation of the cavemen, the holy shields on the knights and horses still haven't dissipated. Um. Chen Heioran was also a little surprised, this effect seemed to be stronger than before. This may be the change brought about by the accumulation of priesthood on the way of guardianship. For the first time in Bai Yin's eyes that seemed to have been deprived of sleep, a sharp light burst out. She didn't expect this wave of combos by Chen Heioran. After the Fountain of Life cleared the cavalry's exhaustion and slow negative effects, it was followed by a devastating charge. It directly smashed through the caveman's formation, leaving the ground full of flesh and blood fragments. After being swept out by this wave of cavalry charges, the cavemen behind the blank area were a little hesitant. It seemed that seeing the ground soaked in blood, he began to fear, began to lose his fighting spirit, and dared not go forward. I saw that the formation of the cavemen was slightly unstable and their morale was low. Bayan finally used her first divine technique. Wheel of Weary Soul. This magical spell can make weak creatures feel tired from the bottom of their hearts, making the creatures emotionally numb. Its excess emotions will be sucked into the chakra. I saw a black wheel appearing in the sky, spinning slightly. Countless panic emotions were slightly stripped from the caveman's body and sucked into the black wheel. Then become an emotionless creature. This magic spell cannot be said to have a positive effect, 
but at this moment, for the caveman, it has a positive effect. The panic was swept away, and what remained was a kind of numbness lingering in the caveman's heart. At this moment, the army of cavemen seemed to have turned into a group of emotionless zombie army, continuing to march towards Chen Heoran's army in dense numbers. It seems that the number is used to completely wear down Chen Heoran's army of believers. After Bai Yin cast Wheel of Tired Soul, Mu Shuping, who was watching from the outside, changed his expression. This magical technique is quite good, he nodded frequently when he saw it. Wheel of Tired Soul, is this it? Elder Wen seemed to have a familiar feeling in his mind. That's right, Wheel of Weary Soul can develop into Wheel of Stripping through hard work and opportunities. Mu Shoping said. Hiss. Wheel of Stripping is the signature divine art of a tycoon of the human race. If you have enough knowledge of the priesthood, you can strip away all the emotions of the creature and turn the creature into an emotionless machine. Divine spells that counter many positive and negative effects. This little girl, we want the spire of darkness. Mu Shoping made a final decision. After this magical technique, Bai Yin kept moving. In the distance of Chen Heoran's army of believers, there seemed to be the sound of countless wings beating the air. Under the faint light, a black cloud floated from a distance. That is, a black cloud of countless bats. Chen Heoran's eyes flashed. It's a shadow bat. The shadow bat is an advanced race of the night bat, with a race potential of circa. Don't underestimate them because they are relatively weak compared to other C-class races. The shadow bat has a strong talent on the shadow side, and can blend into the shadow to avoid damage. And its flying speed is very fast, and it is even more comfortable in the dark environment. Its sharp teeth can easily pierce the skin of most races. Drawing the blood of other creatures will help them recover from their injuries. They can also emit invisible sound waves, rendering his opponents unconscious and incapacitated. This is Baiyan's third race of believers. Compared with the army of cavemen, this third race made Chen Heoran pay more attention. On the other side, the Lionheart Knights, after plowing through the caveman formation, formed a wedge formation at the other end and started a new round of charge. The white paint kept wiping the black wall, and the ground was soaked in blood. With Baiyan's order, the shadow bats charged towards the knights. The pungent smell of blood exuded from the blood stains on the ground made the shadow bat even more excited. Groups of ghostly bats attacked like a black tide. Seeing that the cavemen were almost powerless to resist the cavalry charge, Baiyan couldn't help but prepare to use the shadow bat to deal with the Lionheart Knights. Hee <laughs> hee. Chen Heoran watched intently, not planning to do anything. Do you really think that the Holy Shield technique is so simple? After the shadow bat approached the knights, these black clouds enveloped the golden holy shield, and its sharp claws poked towards the holy shield. Zzz. It's a bit like the sound of fatty meat being grilled on an iron plate. When the shadow bat attacked the holy shield unpreparedly, the burning that came with the holy shield took effect. From the joint between the holy shield and the shadow bat's claws, flames shot up and burned to the shadow bat's body. The shadow bats that attacked the holy shield fell like rain and many fell to the ground, and their bodies were still twitching. This is a sign of poisoning. Don't forget that in addition to burning, the holy shield also comes with a poisoning effect. Baiyan frowned. What kind of eggshell is this? It's too difficult. However, letting the Lionheart Knights charge and go back and forth a few times, the tens of thousands of cavemen disappeared, so they had to be stopped. And the only one who can keep up with the cavalry is the Shadow Bat of the Air Force. Time passed slowly. Finally, after paying the price of a large number of shadow bats. Holy shield, broken. After seeing the cracked golden eggshell that made her sick, Bayan finally let out a long sigh of relief. As long as this team of cavalry is dealt with, the rest is to use soldiers to grind the sea. She felt that she could grind Chen Heoran through. However, after the holy shield, what awaited her was a series of divine healing spells. The knights on the white horses, under the magical healing spells one after another, have never lost their staff. On the contrary, the black cloud of the shadow bat became thinner and thinner. This was the result of the shadow bat turning into the shadows from time to time to avoid damage. On the other side, in the underground pits, the rock gold trolls still firmly blocked the densely packed passages around the pits. He firmly stopped the cavemen who were about to attack them. 
and the golden human warriors behind them carved out a step on the rock wall. One by one, they escaped from the potholes and joined the large army on the ground. At this moment, it seems that the trap designed by Baiyan is actually a cocoon. Not only did they not annihilate Chen Heoran's troops underground, but the cavemen they had arranged underground were blocked in the underground tunnel and could not get out. It is estimated that the opposite party did not expect the Yanjin troll to be so fierce. Above the surface, the army of cavemen began to surround Chen Heoran's army of followers. Chen Heoran made the rock gold trolls form a circle and stand in front as the first line. Of course, because the rock gold troll is too tall compared to the caveman. The rock gold troll is 8 meters tall, and the caveman is 1 meter tall. This makes the rock gold troll's crotch look like a door to the caveman. Therefore, on the second line, Chen Heoran arranged for the bald men of the Stone Heart Warriors to fight against the army of cavemen that leaked from the first line. The innermost ones are the mages of various attributes from the Magic Academy, and the priests, who play their own roles. The army of cavemen rushed in like a tide, and Chen Heoran cast out healing spells one after another, like the rocks on the coast, standing still. This scene, Chen Heoran remembered a game from his previous life, Billions of Zombies. Countless zombies are coming towards the defense tower, but if the strength is not enough, let alone hundreds of thousands, even hundreds of millions are useless. Build a good defense, hang up and sleep. When I saw it the next day, tens of millions had been killed. The so-called sea of soldiers is always unable to break through the defense if the strength is not enough. Nearby, on the white pillar, the healing totem is constantly soothing the wounds of the surrounding soldiers. The raindrops transformed by the rain of tranquility are even more like a holy medicine for rejuvenation, filling up a mouthful of blood between breaths. In the distance, the Lionheart Knights were still charging. If the Hegwong white horses hadn't been able to purify themselves, the white horses would have turned into red horses. The battlefield has become a ruthless meat grinder, and the grinder is the caveman. The exaggerated battle loss ratio is constantly rising. 150. 1. 100. 1. 200. 1. 1000. Baiyan watched quietly, expressionless. Her heart was already numb, and she did not release any divine spells on the battlefield of the subsequent competition. Just quietly watching the army of cavemen being ruthlessly killed, blood flowing like rivers. Mu Shoping and Wen Lao, who were watching the battle outside, also looked a little stiff at this time, and they only had one feeling in their hearts. I'm afraid that even if the army of cavemen reaches tens of millions, they won't be able to break through this defense. Mu Shoping said to Elder Wen, the Chen Heoran you mentioned before is a healing and guardian priesthood, but it is very powerful in combat. I still don't believe it, but now I believe it. I feel that with his attainments in the priesthood, once the divine fire is ignited, he can directly reach the second level of the true god. Mu Shoping said with emotion. Elder Wen nodded in agreement. I think so too. It's a pity that our Piaomiao University doesn't have any professors who are good at this aspect of the priesthood, and you certainly don't have any in the dark spire. How about I tell that person? Mu Shoping's expression changed. You mean, Elder Wen was puzzled, as if he had thought of something. Well, his university is closer to the priesthood of Chen Heoran. But there are a bunch of lunatics there. Wen Lao said. Don't you think that a genius and a lunatic are quite suitable? The other side of a genius is a lunatic. Elder Wen seems to have gotten to know Sha Mu Shuhei again. I remember, that university can't deal with your dark spire. How come you? Instead of increasing their strength, right? It's all for human beings. Mu Shoping laughed. Okay. Your realm is quite high. Wen Lao praised. Mu Shoping laughed. As the last caveman died in front of the rock gold troll, the war between Chen Heoran and Baiyan came to an end. Chen Heoran wins. In the competition venue, some college admissions officers who were watching from the side all gathered around. For example, Mu Shoping went straight to Baiyan and suggested that the Spire of Darkness wanted to recruit Baiyan directly. Baiyan took a deep look at Chen Heoran, this was her worst loss ever. 100,000 cavemen, a large number of shadow bats, and some sleepless people did not even hurt a few hairs of the opponent's army. She didn't say anything to Chen Heoran, and turned to chat with Mu Shoping. It seems that I have caused a lot of psychological shadow on her. Chen Heoran touched his nose. 
Many admissions officers surrounded Chen Heoren. Little brother, you have outstanding talent. My Nine Ring White Tower is the first university established by the Alliance, with rich resources, and the professors are all masters. I hope you can join us. I know you are a genius, our floating castle only accepts geniuses, here you will have more competitors of the same level, and you will hone faster. Student Chen Heoren, our Qianyuyun Island is a key construction university of the Alliance 589, with countless funds, and university benefits and scholarships are higher than them. I watched your game just now. Your rock gold troll should be of the earth energy attribute. Our bottomless cave is best at cultivating such a race. Why don't you come and learn more about it? Go farther away. The entire boundary of your bottomless cave is underground. If you go to your side, you won't even get the sun, and it will be moldy. Why don't you come to our sunshine highlands and do research? Isn't it good to bask in the sun? Quote. What's the matter with you? Slander our bottomless cave. I won't do it. A string of greetings blurted out. Hey, what you said is useless. The scenery of our raging dragon palace is very beautiful, and the ratio of men to women in the university is even about 1 to 7. Some people are so powerful, but they don't live happily. It's because they didn't choose a good university. Ah, little brother, think clearly. A lowly like admissions officer said with a smile. Chen Heoren smiled, watching the admissions officers talk. Don't look at them like this, these admissions officers are all professor level in their respective universities. That is to say, according to Chen Heoren's understanding, the professors of various universities are at the lowest starting level of the fourth level of true gods, and some even surpass true gods. This does not mean that the fourth level of the true god can be a professor. The most important thing for a professor is to look at teaching and research. The fourth level of true god is only the lowest threshold of strength. In other words, he is a younger brother in front of them. Don't think that when others recruit and compete for students, they feel that their status is elevated. In fact, on the one hand, they love talents, and on the other hand, they just want to complete the enrollment tasks of their respective universities. Therefore, Chen Heoren did not show the arrogance of ordinary gifted students, and said politely. Teachers, why don't we exchange contact information, and we can talk about it after the Shining Star Cup is over. That's okay. The admissions officers nodded in agreement. Although, they actually want to sign Chen Heoren today. After all, depending on Chen Heoren's strength, he may be able to move to a higher ranking in the next competition. In that case, if we talk about the conditions, we will pay even more. The first day of the finals ended like this, and many players were lucky to have a bye. Inside the three major high schools at night, students who fought in the Shining Star Cup today, please come and share the information. A middle-aged man with long hair and a soft complexion said, his name is Shen Yi, and he is the senior grade leader. Here is a large conference room in Beishong High School. Beishong High School has more than 20 people in the top 100. Just like in the previous life, after the college entrance examination, many teachers would organize students to recall the questions and analyze them. Here, under the organization of the school, those who played the game today began to talk about the opponents they met. How Khan, from the Youth Academy, the Believer races include the Thorn Demon Trian, the Flower Fairy, and the Golden Bee. The magical arts that have been discovered include a magic spell that can make the trees grow wildly within a certain range and bind the enemies in it. It can speed up the photosynthesis of trees in a certain range by countless times, and emit a huge Yangyan energy cannon. It is guessed that the priesthood is related to thorns, forests, nature, etc. Yang Jian, from Hongfeng High School, the believer races include wyverns, orcs, and cold ones, and the divine arts that have been discovered include the ground splitting technique that can open a huge crack in the earth. The more injured the half orc and the two legged dragon, the more violent the magic. It is guessed that the priesthood is related to the earth, killing, and so on. Feng Xiaojun, from the Academy of Youth, the race of believers includes skeletons, zombies, and ghostly hearses. The magic arts that have been discovered include recondense the corpses that died on the battlefield to form skeletons and zombies that obey his orders. Break up and reorganize a large number of skeletons to form bone giants. Over time, a magic spell that continuously draws the life force of the enemy. 
It is guessed that priesthood is related to undead, death and so on. New Jingsheng is not one of the three major high schools. The believer races include hill dwarves, mechanical gnomes, and goblins. The magic arts that have been discovered include a factory that can quickly assemble mechanical components, suspected to be a magical magic of the golem genre. It is guessed that the priesthood is related to artisans, golems, puppets, runes, etc. Quote. Let me add one more thing, I lost to him today. Bayan said. Chen Heioran, not one of the three major high schools, believer races include rock gold trolls, golden humans, and light white horses. The divine arts that have been discovered are a holy shield that can protect the army, with burning and poisoning effects. From the sky rains that quicken the wounds of armies. Healing totems rising above the ground. A force of nature that nourishes wounds. Quote. When Bayan spoke, everyone subconsciously fell silent. How is it possible, Bayan, she actually lost? You know, Bayan is also ranked among the top five masters in their Beishong High School. In the eyes of his classmates, Bayan will always look sleepy and unable to wake up. But everyone knows that gods and spirits are basically existences that have surpassed mortal things. In fact, you don't need to eat or sleep, and you can rely on divine power to replenish your energy. Bai Yin did that, in fact, he was deliberately consuming his energy and maintaining a tired look, just to practice his priesthood all the time. It is precisely because she never forgets to practice the priesthood that she has finally gone a long way in understanding the priesthood. Everyone has a respect for a hard-working classmate like Bai Yin. Moreover, Bai Yin was ranked in the top five in their high school, and she was the seed player of their high school. Among their three major high schools, those who entered the top 100 this time and ranked in the top 5 in their school are called seed players. Because they have a relatively high possibility to enter the top 8 in the Shining Star Cup, but Bai Yin lost. Shen Yi narrowed his eyes, he secretly had a heart for Chen Heioran. He checked the information and found that Chen Heioran was actually the first player to enter the top 100 on the first day. Bai Yin, can you tell me in detail how you fought against the Chen Heioran? Shen Yi suggested. Yes, I guess, this Chen Heioran's priesthood should be related to healing. Oh, why do you say that? In the battle of the virtual gods, I dispatched more than 100,000 cavemen, but almost did not cause any damage to his army. In addition to the excellent defense and strong self-healing ability of his believer race, the rock gold troll, there are also because his healing magic is constantly working. By the way, he still has a special resource, the spring of life. What? He actually has the resource of life spring water. Even in their high school, they are considered relatively precious resources. Shen Yi is also quite familiar with his students. As far as he knows, the students in the school will only have this level of resources unless their family conditions are particularly good and their parents pay a lot of money. Bai Yin continued, he has a cavalry with an extremely fast charging speed. After my sleepless man exerted fatigue and slow effects on his soldiers, he used the spring of life to break it. Then his cavalry charged repeatedly, attacking my soldiers. The caveman army has done a lot of damage. No, no matter how fierce the cavalry is, wouldn't it cause damage to itself during the charge? Shen Yi wondered. You know, the moment the cavalry hits the dense infantry formation, the cavalry in the first row will basically be killed by themselves. It is very unreasonable to charge repeatedly like this, but there is no damage. Forgot to mention, he added a holy shield to the cavalry. Shen Yi. This person should be the enemy of the Shining Star Cup. Shen Yi said. Bai Yin, do you think his healing ability has bottomed out? Bai Yin thought for a while, then shook his head. In the conference room, everyone's heart sank when they saw this scene. This shows that Bai Yin didn't even test out the opponent's whole cards. I suggest that everyone discuss together whether we have any good strategies against such an enemy. Such a scene happened in both Hongfeng High School and Youth Academy. For a capable player like Chen Heioran, everyone had a headache, and they discussed their strategies fiercely there. There are quite a few classmates who secretly pray in their hearts, hoping that they will not be matched with him when they are matched tomorrow. An upscale restaurant in Annam Province. Xu Xiaoman's face turned red. Cheers. Celebrate Heioran's entry into the top 64. After speaking, he gulped down the spirit fruit wine. 
Although everyone in this society is a god, sometimes drinking and letting yourself get drunk is an eternal pleasure in human society. In the society of gods, the wine culture not only did not die out, but developed more prosperously. For example, this spirit fruit wine is the favorite of many people. Chen Heioran also laughed, talking and laughing with everyone in the club. After winning today, senior sister Xiaoman has been clamoring for a big meal. Senior Nancy also booed, so the four of them came to this restaurant called Stewed Dragon in Phoenix Pavilion. The name of this store is really domineering. By the way, Heioran, will you win tomorrow? Xu Xiaoman looked at Chen Heioran with twinkling eyes. Should, we'll win. Then we have to quickly make a reservation with the boss here. The business here is very good. Book the celebration banquet in advance. Chen Heioran, as expected of senior sister Xiaoman, she really thinks long term. What if I get into the top 8 in the day after tomorrow? Then let's celebrate again, Xu Xiaoman said. Next to him, Lin Nanshi looked very bold while drinking. She drank the wine in the glass in one gulp, and picked up the dragon tendon of her chopsticks. Then he patted Chen Heioran on the shoulder. How ran, where do you think you can be ranked? I think I can win the first place. Chen Heioran looked into Senior Nancy's eyes sincerely. Senior Nancy laughed heartily, even shaking her long hair with the golden shawl. As expected of the man I've drawn into the club. Riri Senpei was sipping her wine while smiling lightly. Chen Heioran drank a little wine and felt a little drunk. At this moment, Lu Lili was holding a book with a black cover, looking at it seriously. Chen Heioran didn't know if it was because he was a little drunk, he looked at the cover of this book. It seems that there is a snake lying on the tree, and a golden apple has grown on the tree. When the snake was about to reach out to eat the apple, a dagger stuck in its body. Chen Heioran stared at the cover, the longer he looked at it, the more dizzy he felt. Senior Lily, what kind of book is this? Is it a magical book? Lu Lily smiled and shook her head, but did not answer. The next day, today will determine the top 8. Chen Heioran's opponent is Feng Xiaojun from Youth Academy. From Youth Academy. Speaking of Youth Academy, Chen Heioran thought of one person. That was his only defeat so far, and it was when he ranked in Amber. He had just advanced from copper amber to silver amber, but was defeated by a person. The most important thing is that Chen Heioran remembered that the man even taunted him at the end. Hey, boy, you have won 13 games in a row, and you really think you are the protagonist of destiny. Remember, I'm Rodas, a third-year senior at Youth Academy. These are the words of the man. Feng Xiaojun, do you know that there is a classmate named Rodas in your school? I don't know. Feng Xiaojun answered simply. Well, it seems like a small role. But I decided at the beginning that when I was in the Shining Star Cup, I went to Annan Mansion to find him a place. After finishing the Shining Star Cup, go find him. The scene at that time would probably be very interesting, Chen Heioran thought darkly. Seeing that Chen Heioran didn't take the game seriously, Feng Xiaojun was slightly angry. Your opponent is me. He emphasized every word with emphasis. Chen Heioran nodded. Let's get started then. The space channel slowly connects the god domains of the two parties. Just connected with Feng Xiaojun's god's domain. Chen Heioran sensed something was wrong. There seems to be no life in the other party's god's domain. Crack click click click. There were thin and broken sounds in the space channel, like countless people running in small steps. In just a moment, an invisible white bone gushed out from the space channel. Sea of Skeletons. Chen Heioran immediately understood this posture. Old routine. Skeleton Sea Submersion Tactics, I don't know how your Skeleton Sea compares with the previous army of cavemen. It seems that these people like to play Binghai tactics very much. And behind the Sea of Skeletons, followed by slow moving corpses, this is a large sea of zombies. Etc. Wrong. Things are not that simple, the actions of these skeletons are much faster than ordinary skeletons. This is the skeleton warrior. Different from some common settings in the previous life, the skeletons in this world are actually a large race, because each skeleton has its own consciousness, although their consciousness may be floating, not as strong as ordinary intelligent races. The skeleton warriors are an advanced race of skeletons, and their consciousness is further condensed. It can be said that their consciousness intensity is almost the same as that of ordinary intelligent races. 
With the concentration of consciousness, the actions of the skeleton race will become more and more agile, and the bone quality will continue to strengthen. The skeleton warrior is a race with a racial potential of D, and its biggest feature is that it guarantees a certain combat effectiveness. The speed of the violent soldiers is also very fast. Their way of reproducing is to bury them underground. The so called plant a skeleton, reap two skeletons. A skeleton warrior can disassemble part of his skeleton, bury it in the cemetery, provide a certain amount of bone material, and in a short time, two skeleton warriors can grow. The speed of such a violent soldier is very terrifying. In addition to the fact that the skeleton has been advanced, looking at the zombies behind, they are not just ordinary zombies. It was after an advanced stage, living corpse. Living corpses have a stronger desire for the flesh and blood of living beings. Stimulated by the smell of blood, it will become violent, and its action and attack capabilities will greatly increase. Moreover, the defense of the living corpses was much stronger than that of ordinary zombies. It can be said that although they are all tactical tactics, compared to yesterday's Baiyan, the individual strength of Feng Xiaojun's skeleton warriors and living corpses is stronger than that of the previous cavemen. And the biggest advantage of these undead races is that their morale will not drop due to battle damage. Because the undead race has no morale at all. Of course, Feng Xiaojun's disadvantage compared to Baiyan is that he doesn't have Baiyan's army of sleepless people. Cannot apply those disgusting debuffs. Because the undead race has no flesh and blood, its tactics are very different from other races, and they will not be restricted by negative effects such as poisoning and corruption, which can be said to have advantages and disadvantages. Chen Heioran, I know that your priesthood is related to healing. Feng Xiaojun said suddenly. Um, our youth academy has already obtained your information. Yesterday, shortly after Bai Yin finished sharing at Beishang High School, the information was leaked to the youth academy by a classmate. I know you well, Feng Xiaojun said viciously. Chen Heioran is a bit confused, you know everything well, you must say it. What kind of psychological warfare is this? Chen Heioran smiled. It's okay, even if you know it all, you will still lose. Feng Xiaojun's face was livid. I have studied you, and I happen to have a way to restrain you. You, you are doomed. Ah. Chen Heioran was speechless. The people from the Youth Academy not only speak aggressively, but are also very secondary. This one is, and so is that Rota's. While speaking, Feng Xiaojun's third believer race showed his face. Chen Heioran's eyes flashed. I saw the third race coming out of the space channel, which was a chariot with dim lights floating on the ground. The chariot moved slowly, and the dim light in it expanded and contracted, as if it was breathing. The ghost chariot is different from what most people think, it is actually a race. Every ghost chariot has its own consciousness and no rider. As long as they are on the field, they will continuously absorb the vitality of living creatures within a certain range, causing their vitality to continuously decline and even die. To put it simply, it is the aura of continuous damage in the range. Halo Arms Chen Heioran understood. Like the ghost chariot, when on the field, it will provide a certain range of damage or other continuous effects, and it is generally called the aura type. The disgusting thing about it is that if you leave him alone, he could end up doing a ton of damage in the end. In general, this kind of halo type arms will be heavily guarded and difficult to approach. Moreover, the nether chariot also has its own aura of fear for nearby flesh and blood creatures. Soldiers who are not determined will not be able to approach it at all. Nether Chariot, race potential is B. Its advanced race is called the Nether Engine. The ghost engine with a racial potential of A is disgusted by countless gods whose believer race is a race of flesh and blood. Its effect of extracting the vitality of the flesh and blood race is amazing, but it does no harm to the undead race. It can be said that it is quite restrained by all flesh and blood races. Feng Xiaojun has his own set of tactics. Now appearing on the field, the ghost chariot race, if the opponent's gods have no way to replenish the vitality of the believers, in other words, there is no healing magic or other methods, as long as the opponent can't break through Feng Xiaojun's sea of skeletons and zombies. As time drags on, the opponent's disciples will be sucked dry one by one. With this move, Feng Xiaojun killed countless opponents. After thinking for a while, Chen Heioran guessed Feng Xiaojun's tactics. 
I don't know if it's because the nether chariot plunders the vitality faster, or because my healing magic replenishes the vitality faster. Chen Heioran didn't panic at all. To break this tactic, one must either have a strong decapitation ability and kill these ghost chariots in the sea of soldiers, or let them suck so hard that they can't return quickly. On the other side, Feng Xiaojun saw Chen Heioran's formation, and his eyes were slightly serious. Although Chen Heioran's believer race has no undead race, it can be said that it is restrained by the ghost chariot. However, when he saw the Yanjin troll's height of 8 meters, he still looked a little stiff. Knowing that with the abnormal defense and self-healing ability of the rock gold troll, if you want to rely on skeleton warriors and living corpses to pile up, I am afraid it will be really difficult to break through the defense line. Just spend it, let's see who can't resist first. Feng Xiaojun was full of confidence. Just use it up, let's see who can't resist first. Chen Heioran had a good time. Skeleton warriors and living corpses were so densely packed that there was no end in sight. The flanking Lionheart Knights are ready to charge, without the negative effects of fatigue and slowness, and even the Fountain of Life can be saved to drink later. At the front, the Rock Gold Trolls were all holding thick maces, and they were also ready to charge against the Sea of Skeletons in reverse. It is different from yesterday's tactics, because the Nether Chariot has a constant damage aura, although Chen Heioran is confident that his healing magic can make the Nether Chariot not heal as fast as himself. But don't let them get too comfortable. Boom boom boom. Every time the Rock Gold Trolls swing their sticks, they can smash 5 to 10 skeletons or living corpses into the air. Following them were soldiers from the Bald Warriors. One by one, under the leadership of Sai Boda, they were also on the battlefield, and the pigs rushed forward, slashing from left to right. The true silver holy sword in Saibota's hand can produce a gurgling range of healing every time he swings it. Surrounded in the middle are the priests and mages of various energy attributes. From time to time, the priests use a weakened version of the holy shield or healing magic. Lilith looked resolute, with long hair fluttering, in this sea of bones and zombies, she was like an angel on earth. The mages of each department kept placing an AoE to clean up the battlefield. However, due to the fact that there were too many skeleton warriors and living corpses, Chen Heioran's army had just cleared an open space, and it would be filled up immediately. But there is no doubt that Chen Heioran's army is approaching the nether chariot step by step. Don't panic, their blood is bleeding. Feng Xiaojun wiped his sweat. And my ghost chariot can also move. But in fact, Chen Heioran's army lost blood very slowly. The rock gold troll's basic self-healing ability covers the damage of skeleton warriors and zombies. That is to say, the Lionheart Knights will lose some blood because of the charge. Although it was still far away from the Nether Chariot, Feng Xiaojun still made the Nether Chariot start to stay away. Time is ticking, and the war has been surprisingly long. Suppressing urine, Chen Heioran complained. The various university admissions officers who were watching outside seemed to be almost falling asleep. The whole process is that the battlefield is emptied, and a hole appears, filled with skeletons. Another piece was emptied and filled again. Cycle over and over. Looking at the ground, there is still an endless sea of skeletons and zombies. And the nether chariot is still functioning. Seeing that it was difficult to get close to the nether chariot, Chen Heioran thought about it and let it go. Let the rock gold trolls form a circle, the second circle is the bald warrior group, and the third circle is the priests and mages. In the army formation, put a few healing totems, just like that. Just like the arrangement for the battle against Bayan yesterday, such a defensive lineup can almost be called a perpetual motion machine against the sea of skeletons and zombies. But it's such a waste of time to wait. This has to hit the year of the monkey and the month of the horse. Divine Art Sacrifice On the battlefield, a hundred golden human warriors knelt on one knee, leaning on their swords in their right hands, shouting frantically. Use my strength to forge the long sword in your hand, for my lord. Use my strength to forge the long sword in your hand, for my lord. Rows of golden light were extracted from their bodies and submerged into Cyberta's body. Afterwards, their bodies were weak as if they had been hollowed out, and all their strength was concentrated on Cyberta. Compared with the silver human warriors, they sacrificed more power. Feng Xiaojun blinked his eyes. In the blink of an eye, he saw a bald giant with a height of more than 50 meters and a sword of more than 40 meters appearing on the battlefield. 
No, there is no such thing in the information. Feng Xiaojun panicked. Cyber Tower ran on the battlefield, with bare feet, every time it landed was like an earthquake, trampling a large number of skeletons and zombies to death. True silver holy sword like a broom, sweeping all the way to the ground, countless skeletons and zombies were swept into powder. Since you are relying on those six ghost chariots, then try to see if my beheading operation can succeed. Feng Xiaojun saw that Cyber Tower was rapidly approaching the nether chariot, so he also made up his mind at this time. Do you think I don't have a super unit? It's just because the consumption is too high and I didn't want to use it before. Feng Xiaojun said coldly. Um, the fluctuation of divine arts appeared on the battlefield, and the sky seemed to be dark. On the battlefield, countless white bones were extracted from the body of the skeleton warrior, and countless flesh and blood were stripped from the body of the living corpse. The bones and flesh and blood swirled, forming a huge black tornado. And in the center of the tornado, there was a terrifying aura that was about to descend. This is my magic bone and flesh unity. The undead hate living things, but they also want to be living things. Bones are looking for flesh and blood to attach to, and flesh and blood are looking for support from bones. Come down, ghost giant. Boom. The black tornado suddenly dispersed. In the same place, a giant with a height of more than 50 meters appeared, about the same height as Cyber Tower. Its bones are reorganized from the bones of countless skeletons, and its flesh is connected by the flesh and blood of countless zombies. You can even see the faces of living corpses on their skins. Evil. Powerful. Depressed. There are six potholes in the giant's limbs, chest, and between the brows, which seem to be waiting for something to fill. The next moment, it gave the answer. A strong suction emanated from the six potholes, and on the battlefield, there were six ghost chariots. Filled in with a bang. At this point, a complete nether giant appeared in front of Chen Heoran. Ha ha ha. Why do you think I chose these three races? Feng Xiaojun laughed wildly. From the very beginning, I have been rushing to comprehend this divine technique. These six nether chariots can continuously absorb vitality and provide a steady stream of vitality recovery for the nether giant. Really? Chen Heoran smiled. Now that the nether chariot has been absorbed into the body of the nether giant, Cyber Tower has lost its original target. Holding the big sword, he walked towards the nether giant step by step. On the battlefield, due to the formation of the nether giant, a large amount of bones and flesh and blood were extracted. The huge wave of soldiers, the sea of skeletons and the sea of zombies was suddenly emptied into a huge open space. Golden Giant vs Ghost Giant There was a faint golden glow in Saibota's body, his shiny bald head was dazzling, and he held a big silver white sword in one hand, and the light from heaven and earth seemed to gather at the tip of his sword. On the other side of the nether giant, the expanding and shrinking glare flickered between the eyebrows, chest, and limbs of the nether giant, greedily sucking the vitality on the battlefield. The faces of the living corpses attached to the skin of the nether giant seemed to be laughing, eager to fight and drip with blood. In its eye sockets, there is a deep red light. What he held in his hand was a long sword made of white bones, which seemed to be pulled out from the entire spine of a person. This is the sword of the spine, at both ends of the hilt are two huge skulls. Smiling grimly, evil thing, I will purify the uncleanness of 06 in front of my eyes for my lord. Cyberta shouted frantically, his voice vibrating like thunder. And the nether giant on the opposite side smiled, Gia Gia. Both sides are taking huge steps, rushing towards each other. It's getting closer, it's getting closer. Cyber Tower jumped up suddenly, and the true silver holy sword was in its hands, shining brightly in all directions like the sun. The strength of Cyber Tower's kicking and jumping made it seem like a small earthquake had occurred on the battlefield. The many skeletons standing on the ground were unable to stand steadily, and fell to the ground rustlingly. The real silver holy sword slashed down fiercely, and the spine sword that the ghost giant raised to meet it, between the two swords, it seemed that a shocking blow was about to come. At this time, many college admissions officers who were watching outside the court, some of them even stood up excitedly. While they were drowsy, the situation changed abruptly, and two big guys appeared on the battlefield. This feeling is just like when watching a football game, there is a seesaw on both sides, there is nothing to watch, and I stay up all night watching it drowsily. 
All of a sudden, a wonderful goal, sleepiness is gone. The ghost giant. Someone wondered. That's right, it's a divine art, flesh and bone unity. This student can actually comprehend this divine art at the demigod stage. It seems that he is very talented in undead and death-related priesthood. The one who spoke was a pale, skinny old man with prominent cheekbones. The other golden giant is also good. I didn't recognize what kind of magic it was, but the effect is also amazing. Hmm. I never expected to see such a duel when I came to the Amber Domain this time. It's wonderful. These two were able to create super arms at the demigod stage, and they will be useful in god battles in the future. All the people present nodded their heads. When they invade other worlds, when they encounter super defensive buildings, such as the Gate of Hell and the Ladder of Heaven, it is very useful to have such a big guy to go up and open the way. At this time, on the battlefield, the two swords finally collided. Unexpectedly, not as shocking as imagined. The bone long sword was split in two. The nether giant stared blankly at the broken blade in his hand. It seems that your sword is a bit loose. Chen Heioran couldn't help laughing. Feng Xiaojun's face was ashen, and there was a bad feeling in his heart. The ghost giant, it won't lose. After Saibo to split the bone long sword, the blade swept away. The ghost giant quickly rolled sideways. It's just that this donkey rolled, and suddenly it was completely out of place. Sai Boda swung his sword, and the healing attached to the true silver holy sword poured into his body and Chen Heoran's army of followers. If it is said that before becoming bigger, the treatment of the true silver holy sword was still like a stream, then now, after becoming bigger, the brilliance of this treatment is like a long river, endlessly flowing. Feng Xiaojun's face was livid, which made him feel that it was a foolish thing for him to boast that the nether chariot could continuously replenish vitality. Saibota swung the big sword, took advantage of the momentum, and slashed at the Yuyan Earman who hadn't got up yet. Chila, an arm with bones and flesh fell off. Saibota was not polite, stepped on the left arm that fell to the ground, slightly crushed, and a ghost chariot was killed. Another sword. The right arm is gone. Another sword. The left leg fell off. Come back with a sword. The right leg is gone. Between a few breaths, the nether giant has been whittled into a human stick, from a height of more than 50 meters in the past, to only more than 20 meters standing on the ground now. Arms and limbs were scattered all over the place. Nether giant. Chen Heoran's eyes flickered, and he seemed to see a trace of grievance revealed in the expression of the nether giant. Terrible, really miserable. The faces of the living corpses on the surface of his skin also changed from evil laughs to shrunken mouths, and the expressions of fear flashed in the eyes. Impure things, let me purify you completely. Sai Boda shouted, and after he finished speaking, he swung his big sword, and as the first batch, he slashed at the middle of the ghost giant's body. From the top of the head all the way to the lower abdomen. 950 The entire nether giant was divided into two halves, and the Yushi chariot between the eyebrows and outside the chest was also cut off by the big sword. Feng Xiaojun was devastated, the situation he imagined that the ghost giant would kill all directions after the bone and flesh unity magic, not only did not exist, but was chopped into a human stick in two or three times, and finally split in half. It was like a dream. The corpse of the ghost giant fell to the ground. Only. On the ground, because the bone flesh unity magic consumes a huge amount of skeletons and zombies, it seems that it is difficult to make up for the wave of soldiers that were consumed as materials, leaving a large open space. A sea of skeletons and zombies flooded in continuously, and Chen Heoran finally saw the end of the wave of soldiers. No, I haven't lost yet. Feng Xiaojun yelled unwillingly, as if his eyes were red with gambling. A fluctuation of a divine spell unfolded on the battlefield. On the ground, some still intact bones and flesh and blood condensed slightly, forming a lot of skeleton warriors and living corpses again. However, compared to the amount lost before, this supplementary amount is still a drop in the bucket after all. Sai Boda held the big sword and directly turned on the unparalleled mode. Every swing of the sword light can take away hundreds of skeletons and zombies. At this stage, it is no longer necessary to watch the outcome. No matter how many miscellaneous fish there are, they are still miscellaneous fish. Outside the arena, the old man who was very optimistic about the nether giant, named Wang Kyo, looked a little shocked. 
He actually lost, and there was nothing sloppy about the defeat. From the moment the bony spine sword was cut off, the whole battle became without suspense. Almost the nether giant was beaten from the beginning. How is this possible? Wang Kyo couldn't believe it. He himself is also a priesthood in the area of undead and death, which makes him feel a little shameless. Is this the level of some famous divine arts of undead one? Someone muttered. No, the ghost giant is not weak, it should be said that the golden giant is too strong. It seems that this magical art of the unity of flesh and blood is not very good. Next to him, an admissions officer who had some trouble with him said with a smile. The old man Wang Kyo turned his head and glared at him. On the battlefield, like the autumn wind sweeping the fallen leaves, Saibota is carrying a big sword, rushing from left to right, and the blade sweeps across. Minus 5, 20,000, 100,000, good guy, Chen Heioran felt that when he was playing Zhen San Wu Shuang, he never hacked so many people to death. Ruthless Lawn Mowers. Finally, the effect of the divine art, sacrifice, passed, and Cyberta and the leaked. In short, the sea of skeletons and zombies on the field is already sparse, not many in number. All that's left is some finishing touches. Chen Heioran vs Feng Xiaojun. Chen Heioran wins. After the game, Feng Xiaojun walked out of the arena step by step with an ugly face and faltering steps. Young master, what's the matter with you? Young master, you lost. Outside the venue, some classmates and friends who had been waiting for Feng Xiaojun didn't know the result yet when they saw Feng Xiaojun like this. I lost. Feng Xiaojun smiled bitterly. That Chen Heioran, is he really that powerful? Everyone couldn't believe it. Yesterday, when they got the news from Beishang High School, they knew that Baiyan had lost, and they couldn't believe it. Afterwards, everyone attached great importance to it and discussed tactics. In addition to the information we discussed yesterday, he still has a magical technique that he hasn't used yet, Feng Xiaojun's voice is rough. What? The magical technique that can concentrate the power of a hundred warriors on one person can create super soldiers with a height of more than 50 meters. This. Everyone who heard it took a deep breath. Some people have even recorded it in their portable brains. Your nether giant can't beat it either. The one who spoke was Mr. Yi, the third level leader of the youth academy. My nether giant was crushed and beaten as soon as it came out, and was chopped into six pieces in the end. Speaking of this, he still had a little bit of disbelief. That is the ghost giant at the bottom of his ballast. At the level of the war in the demigod realm, being able to use magic to create such a super unit is almost the existence of a great demon king. Isn't it waiting for the ending of killing the quartet? After all, it was only a war in the realm of the demigods, and this was why he was so arrogant against Chen Heioran at the beginning. As a perennial top 5 master in the youth academy, he has been suppressing himself to ignite the magic fire, just waiting for Lin H, the shining star, to become a blockbuster. In the sparring in the school, few people even got to see the nether giant. Just the sea of skeletons and zombies combined with the nether chariot is disgusting enough. Result. Hey. Feng Xiaojun was depressed. Cough cough. The old man Wang Kyo coughed twice and separated the crowd. Are you Feng Xiaojun who used the bone and flesh unity magic technique just now? Yes, what can I do for you? Feng Xiaojun doesn't want to talk to anyone now, he just wants to go home and be quiet by himself. I'm the admissions officer for the university's Nine Layer Netherland. Feng Xiaojun's gloomy eyes suddenly lit up. The nether giant you summoned just now, I think is very promising. I would like to invite you to join our Nine Layers of Netherland. The Nine Layers of Netherland are exactly Feng Xiaojun's dream school. From arrogance, to being taught to be a human being, to great sadness, and then to great joy, Feng Xiaojun couldn't help his emotions for a while, and began to sob softly. Wang Kyo patted Feng Xiaojun's shoulder, okay, it's okay to lose. It's just that the reward is less. Your talent is very suitable for our Nine Layer Netherland. In the future, you may not be worse than this Chen Heioran, and you may even go better than him. Farther, young people, don't care about temporary gains and losses. The old man's words slightly restored Feng Xiaojun's confidence. He nodded solemnly, a light flashed in his eyes. In the future, I will definitely have another battle with Chen Heioran, and I will defeat him. Chen Heioran also beat Feng Xiao to tears himself and inexplicably made Feng Xiaojun set the flag. 
At this time, many admission officers and teachers gathered around, wanting to have a detailed discussion with Chen Heoren. However, Chen Heoren waved his hand and just left his contact information, saying that we will talk about it after the Shining Star Cup is over. The admissions officers all looked regretful. Everyone is looking forward to Chen Heoren's next match. Take a short break. The top 32 will advance to the top 16. Chen Heoren vs Luo Xiu. The battle begins. Backquote it's Luo Xiu. It is said that Molten Heart and Nine Rings White Tower are competing for her. Hee hee, I don't think these two universities can get it. People from Wind of Magic are still waiting to make a move. Seeing Luo Xiu, it seemed that the admissions officers present were quite familiar with it. That's not necessarily true. What if she loses this round? Um, that's right. Luo Xiaoyi's priesthood is related to flame and frost. This kind of opposing elemental priesthood has attracted people's attention since the first day she became a demigod. Because, it tastes like a war. Chen Heoren looked at his opponent. Huh, one eye is red and the other is blue. The eyes are the same as those of the cat I raised in my previous life. This kind is called different pupils, or, well, mandarin ducks. Humph. Luo Xiu hummed dissatisfied when she saw Chen Heoren staring into her eyes. The space channel began to connect the two gods. From the other party's god domain, there was a burst of cold and hot breath. Luo Xiu chose to take the initiative to attack. From the space passage, the race that walked out slowly had its torso standing up like a snake, and rows of barbs grew on its two strong arms. Around the body, from time to time, seeing flames passing by. This is Fire Demon. The Fire Demon is a creature with a racial potential of circa. Its biggest feature is its high sensitivity to the energy attribute of fire, and it is good at casting various fire attribute spells. The seemingly strong arms are actually only used to swing the staff. Because of the appearance of the fire demons, even the temperature in the place next to the space passage has risen a lot. The second race that emerged from the space channel is. The second one, from the space channel, there are groups of ice demons that are covered in cold air. The ice demons are almost the opposite side of the fire demons, and they are also creatures with a race potential of circa. Their arrival neutralizes the fire demons. The demon heats the ambient temperature. This is the opposite party going to engage in two worlds of ice and fire. Grilled skewers with cold beer, Chen Heoren's mind flashed this idea for some reason. The third one that came out of the space channel was a snake-like creature with a somewhat translucent color, floating slightly in the air. It's a mana wyrm. Chen Heoren narrowed his eyes slightly, he had guessed the opponent's tactics a bit. The Mana Wyvern has a race potential of B, and it is a rather rare race that is very sought after by some elemental gods. Why do you say that? Because, the Mana Floating Dragon can absorb the energy dissipated in the space for a short time, and strengthen its own strength. Like some gods of the elemental priesthood, such as Frost, Flame, Thunder and Lightning, etc., there will always be some believer races under their command, who are good at manipulating various attribute energies, and after they release spells, a lot of energy can be used it is escaped to the space minister. At this time, the mana floating dragon can quickly absorb these energies, so that it can continue to grow in the battlefield environment. Although it is said that these absorbed energy will disappear in a short time. But for wartime, this kind of reinforcement is very scary. For example, the two sides are fighting, flames are flying randomly, Lightning is dancing randomly, in such a war scene where spells are flying randomly, the absorption speed of the mana floating dragon will reach a very fast level. The strength will soon grow to be comparable to, races with a race potential of A. So, the opponent is a group of spell casting races, plus mana wyvern. A race without a front line of resistance. Chen Heoren flashed a doubt. At this time, in the space channel, the sound of sparse footsteps came, and a fourth race was about to appear. This is a little bit more powerful. Chen Heoren himself is of three races of believers, and most of the people he has fought against so far have at most three races of believers. Because no matter how many believer races, you need more time and resources to invest in guiding the development of believer races, which is not an easy task. What's more, in the demigod stage, the most important thing is to practice the priesthood and ignite the divine fire. 
From the space passage, the fourth race that comes out is the demon addicts. Demon addicts, with a racial potential of B, have a mysterious AGBJ organ at the center of their eyebrows, called the pinecone nucleus. This organ can attract all kinds of free energies in the space to gather, satisfying the addiction of various energies. In addition, they often accumulate a lot of magic power in their bodies, which can be shared by mana and provided to other spellcasting races. It is the favorite of all kinds of spellcasting races. To put it simply, this race is like a mobile spell amplifier and magic pool. This makes them successful as a rare and expensive race of believers. So, how much money did this Luo Xu spend? Chen Heioran broke into a cold sweat. When the banknote ability is strong enough, even cheating will feel sad. Are you ready? Luo Xu asked coldly. The different colors of her eyes made her feel a little different from the people around her since she was a child, which is a very sensitive part of her. And just now, Chen Heioran had been staring into her eyes. This made her feel a little humiliated. Chen Heioran seemed to smell gunpowder smoke in the space, so he hurriedly put the rock gold troll at the front and searched for a whole row. Rock gold troll. Okay, ready, you come. Chen Heioran said. Luo Xu laughed angrily at Chen Heioran, what she said just now was just for the sake of momentum, but she didn't really want Chen Heioran to answer. The cold oracle reverberated in the sky with a trace of anger. For the Lord of Fire and Frost, destroy the heretics in front of you. For the Lord of Fire and Frost, destroy the heretics in front of you. Groups of fire demons moved, and when the staff was waving, countless flame energy condensed in front of them. Among them, many demon addicts were mixed in, which strengthened the intensity of the flame energy. Then, like the Gatling gun shooting video that Chen Heioran had seen in his previous life, dense fireballs emerged from the fire demon's phalanx and rushed towards Chen Heioran's army formation. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. Only endless explosions were heard, echoing in front of Chen Heioran's army of believers. Relying on their thick metal skin and the stone shield condensed by the energy of the earth, the rock gold trolls in the first row firmly resisted the shooting of this wave of fireball rain. Chen Heioran saw that the wounds of the rock gold trolls in the first row were bloody and bloody, and the flesh was squirming crazily, trying to heal but was blasted away by the fireball. Break the defense. Chen Heioran felt the fireball was fierce. Luo Xu was a little disappointed. Luo Xu was disappointed when she saw that the dense fireballs didn't even kill the rock gold trolls in the first row. No way, try again. The second wave of fireball rain quickly condensed and shot. Chen Heioran quickly moved the rock gold trolls in the first row to the third row, and the second row was on top. There are three sections of shooting in ancient times, and here are three sections of roots. The second wave of fireball rain still returned without success. If one fireball doesn't work, then ten. If small fireballs don't work, come big fireballs. The words the teacher taught her flashed in Luo Shaoyi's mind. Then try this trick. On the field, the fluctuations of the divine arts flashed across. Divine art, energy integration. The fire demons waved their staffs and pointed to the sky. On the top of the staff, orange-red energy flickered, continuously gathering above the formation of the fire demon, and a huge fireball quickly formed. The fireball expanded more and more until finally, it condensed into a ball with a diameter of 100 meters. The super-huge fireball glowed orange-red, rising on the battlefield like a small sun. Can you make such a big fireball? Hee <laughs> hee, try this trick, the art of explosion. This super-huge fireball was thrown towards Chen Heioran's army like a meteor. Chen Heioran didn't have time to complain. Facing such a big fireball, relying on the rock gold troll alone would definitely cause heavy damage. He didn't care too much anymore, and the divine art courage which was usually used as the ballast was the first to use it. In Situ, at the moment when the huge fireball was thrown into Chen Heioran's army formation, there seemed to be a sudden silence between heaven and earth. Then, a huge roar resounded throughout the battlefield. Boom. A mushroom-like cloud rose from the battlefield and rushed straight into the sky. The huge explosion sound made everyone on the battlefield seem to be deaf. Endless light and heat are blooming, as if a sun has fallen from the ground. Are you releasing nuclear weapons? Chen Heioran was a little surprised when he saw this scene. 
On the battlefield, many of Chen Heoran's believer army lay on the ground, dying. If it weren't for the magic courage to protect them, I'm afraid many of them would have died this time. I didn't kill one of them. Luo Xu couldn't help but wiped her eyes, suspecting that her eyes were blurred. This. Dot how is it possible? She thought that she might be blocked by Chen Heoran's defensive magic. But what she never expected was that none of them could be killed. Impossible, absolutely impossible, is this an illusion? She gritted her teeth, not believing what she saw. Whether it's an illusion or not, if it doesn't work once, then, let's do it again. While the effect of energy integration was still there, this time, she didn't use that huge fireball again. Because the fire demons are all a little panting at this time, and they look like they have consumed too much magic power. The demon addicts next to them, at this time, continuously shared their stored magic power with the fire demons, allowing them to recover slowly. This time, try the power of frost. The ice demons were holding light blue staffs, on the staffs, countless cold energies were revealed, quickly gathering above the heads of the ice demon army formation. Similar to the process of the previous super giant fireball, a huge ice blue six-pointed star gradually took shape. The maximum diameter of this frosty six-pointed star is impressively over 100 meters. Go, frost star. The ice demons cast spells, and this huge frost star shot toward Chen Heoran's army like a comet. It's still coming. Fortunately, the effect of courage is still there. Moreover, Chen Heoran was afraid that Luo Xu would have a follow-up similar to a huge fireball, so he didn't turn in the healing spell right away. Otherwise, the healing magic will be wasted. The huge frost star exploded in Chen Heoran's army. Click. In an instant, the ground was covered with a thick layer of hoarfrost. As for Chen Heoran's army of believers, they were all frozen into ice sculptures, standing in place like a forest of ice sculptures. Endless coldness and coldness ravaged the place that had just been bombarded by the explosion of the huge fireball. From extremely hot to extremely cold, the earth seemed to be unable to withstand such a huge temperature difference, and it split open one after another. Luo Xu looked at the forest of ice sculptures with satisfaction. This time, it should kill a lot of people. Although she also knew that those rock gold trolls might not be dead yet. However, the golden human warrior should surely die. Time passed minute by minute. Chen Heoran waited for a while, seeing that Luo Xu did not make any further moves, especially when he saw Luo Xiaoyi's side, whether it was the mouth demon or the ice girl and fire demon. At this time, they all look like they have consumed too much magic power. He finally moved. Divine art natural nourishment. On the earth, suddenly like a spring breeze overnight. The ice melted and the snow melted, and the warmth and vitality of the Japanese stocks radiated. This magical technique can rejuvenate believers' vitality deep in their bodies and gradually restore their vitality. It couldn't be more suitable for this situation. Click. In an ice sculpture, a hand with a metallic color broke through the ice. The ice shattered all over the ground. He stretched his muscles and bones, and the whole ice sculpture broke. What came out of it was a rock gold troll. Like a clarion call, followers of Chen Heoran broke through the ice one after another. The vitality is also constantly recovering. Yu 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 Yu. Luo Xu was shocked and angry when she saw this scene. Huh. Chen Heoran had question marks all over his face. Still not a single follower of Chen Heoran was killed, and there was a trace of panic in her heart. Luo Xu took a deep breath. Her unyielding character made her use the second magic spell, even though the fire demon and ice demon were already in a state of excessive consumption of magic power. Divine art, lotus of fire and ice. A strange fluctuation enveloped the fire demon and ice demon. The continuous stream of fire attribute energy and ice attribute energy, under the action of this strange fluctuation, continuously converged towards one point. At this point, a beautiful lotus flower is rapidly taking shape. On the ice blue lotus platform, orange red lotus flowers bloom. This ice seems to be burning, and the wanton invasion of the flames is revealed. This fire seems to be freezing, and the frosty condensate will remain forever. Both the fire demon and the ice demon prayed loudly. Frozen fire, burning frost. Go, devour the enemies of my lord. Frozen fire, burning frost. Go, go and sweep everything in front of you. Actually, there is more. The effect of the divine art courage has passed. 
Facing this weird lotus of ice and fire, Chen Heioran could only choose to resist. Countless holy shields lit up, and they looked extraordinarily eye-catching on the still frozen ground. Yes, there is also the holy shield. Luo Xu remained expressionless. At the moment when the lotus of ice and fire fell into Chen Heioran's army. Frost and fire alternate with extreme heat and extreme cold torn. Boom. The violent power is tearing at the holy shield. The ground of the earth is gradually cracking in the process of continuous freezing and burning. The soil layer under the feet of Chen Heioran's army was cut open layer by layer. Holy shield resisted the most powerful wave, and persisted for a while. One by one, they were extinguished like lanterns. Divine art reign of tranquility. This magical technique that lasts a lot of milk was released by Chen Heioran. Countless raindrops with natural healing power fell from the sky. It is difficult to maintain the blood volume of the soldiers. The divine art healing totem, several healing totems broke through the ground, and the two magical arts joined forces to maintain the situation. But at the center of the explosion of the ice and fire lotus, there are still many believers who have died. This time, about 300 golden human warriors died, and the rest were wounded everywhere. The rock gold trolls are not a big problem. At this point, Chen Heioran's magic has already consumed three powers. Luo Xu was disappointed when she saw the effect of the lotus of ice and fire. It only caused more than 300 casualties. The price is that the ice demon and the fire demon have exhausted their mana and are relying on the demon addicts to recover desperately. However, the mana floating dragons on the battlefield were absorbing the dissipated energy. At this time, each of them had reached a length of more than 10 meters, which was about the same size as some brown dragons. You know, when they first came out, they were only about 1 meter long. The oracle of Chen Heioran issued, and the rock gold trolls began to charge. The golden human warriors who still had the power to fight in the first battle followed closely behind. What are you waiting for while the mage's skills are cooling down? Luo Xu asked the mana dragons to stand in the way, ready to fight this wave. The 8 meter rock gold trolls dragged their injured bodies and fought with the mana floating dragons one after another. Just when the battle was fierce, suddenly, horseshoes sounded like raindrops on the ground. That is, only then did Luo Xu realize that she had missed Chen Heioran's cavalry. According to the information she obtained, Chen Heioran had a cavalry that was as fast as the wind. The mobility of the cavalry is high, Chen Heioran naturally will not let the Lionheart Knights stay in the army formation and rely on skills. Moreover, after witnessing the rain of fireballs from the fire demons, let the cavalry charge directly at them, fearing that they will be beaten into a sieve. This cavalry has been hidden by Chen Heioran all the time. Until now, hoofs fall like rain, running like light. He Guangbai's horse's hooves can almost cover a distance of more than 10 meters between each leap. Moreover, the holy shield technique that was cast just now is still hanging on their bodies. They didn't eat the lotus of ice and fire just now. When the Lionheart Knights attacked from the side, the mana dragons wanted to return to the flank, but they were tightly entangled by the rock gold trolls. Looking at this scene, Luo Sheui's heart sank to the bottom of the valley. Off the court, Several admissions officers who were discussing Luo Xu before were all shocked at this moment. Unexpectedly, she can actually use such a magical technique as the Lotus of Ice and Fire. Am I not mistaken? That magic has already reconciled the power of Frost and Fire. That's right, that's the one. The most fearful thing about this kind of opposing priesthood is that you can't reconcile the opposing forces of the two priesthoods. But Luo Xu has already taken the first step. Although Luo Xu lost, Wind of Magic should accept her. Burning Frost, Icy Flames, this magical technique is really powerful. But what do you think is more powerful, isn't it Chen Heioran who blocked this magic spell? 1. Well, the reign of tranquility and natural nourishment he used before not only showed a great understanding of the Guardian Priesthood, but also integrated the power of nature into the Guardian Priesthood. I heard that the University, June 27th, Four Seasons Canopy has already prepared to pay a high price to recruit this Chen Heioran. On the battlefield, looking at the Lion Heart Knights galloping like a ray of light. The Fire Demon and the Ice Demon used their little magic power to release a fireball and ice arrows to block the charge of the Shiksen Knights. But the Holy Shield stood firm and protected the knight. 
What will be the result of the mages without mana facing the knight's charge? There is only one result. When Hegwong Bema activated his blood talent, Speed of Light Meteor, and rushed into the formation of the Fire Demon and the Ice Demon. The Fire Demons and Ice Demons, like harvesting wheat, fell from the sky. In this charge alone, one third of the Fire and Ice Demons were cut off by their horses. Luo Xu knew. I lost. The Believer race in an intact state, with such a berserk output of spells, was not able to defeat Chen Heoran. Well, now it's even more hopeless. As far as Chen Heoran is concerned, he feels that Luo Xu has the strongest explosive ability among all the opponents he has come into contact with. Her clergy combined with the race of her believers, the burst damage is so high that it is abnormal. In terms of strength, he felt that Luo Xu put the greatest pressure on him, much stronger than Bai Yin and Feng Xiaojun. Chen Heoran vs Luo Xu. Chen Heoran wins. At the end of the game, Luo Xu looked at Chen Heoran and smiled. You have the right to stare into my eyes. Chen Heoran. It seemed that after losing the game, Luo Xu didn't take a special blow or show frustration, which made Chen Heoran a little strange. Her attitude changed a little quickly. Outside the venue, the admissions officer of Wind of Magic had rushed over and started talking with Luo Xu. While chatting, Luo Xu looked at Chen Heoran from the corner of his eye from time to time. This game is indeed the most stressful game Chen Heoran has played in this period of time. In the final analysis, the ability to resist beatings and the amount of milk are still not enough. In today's last game, the top 16 will advance to the top 8. This opponent did not leave a deep impression on Chen Heoran, he pushed flat all the way and won easily. Sometimes, the ranking is not only determined by strength but also by luck. For example, he felt that Bai Yin was stronger than this opponent. But when Bai Yin met him, he didn't even make it to the top 64. Life, not only depends on personal struggle, but also needs to consider the luck of grasping. Stewed dragon boiled in fungi. Several people sat together again, preparing to celebrate Chen Heoran's entry into the quarterfinals. Hey, where is Lily Senpei? Chen Heoran was puzzled. With something stuffed in her mouth, Xu Xiaoman said inarticulately, Li Li seems to say that she has something to do at home, so she went back first. Oh, what's the matter? Lin Nanshi held the chicken feet between her chopsticks, hey, don't worry about Lily. Let's eat happily. Speaking of which, Lily seems to be a little strange recently. Xu Xiaoman said abruptly. A bit strange. Chen Heoran wondered, yeah, Lily likes to read very much. She can finish one book every two or three days and switch to another book. But recently, I saw her holding that black covered book, and she hasn't changed it after reading it for a long time. Is there such a thing? Chen Heoran's heart moved. Senior Xiaoman, are you talking about that book? Is it that on the cover there was a snake lying on a tree, about to devour an apple, but was killed by a dagger behind it? Chen Heoran has some impressions of this cover. That's right, that's the book. I flipped through it too, but it didn't look very interesting. It's all about some kind of counselor's story. They're all very old stories. Chen Heoran had a bad premonition in his heart. He opened his brain and searched for the story on the cover. According to the legend, in the kingdom of heaven, there is a golden tree, and the fruit on the tree is called the fruit of enlightenment. It is said that no matter which creature eats it, it will immediately gain the wisdom above all people, and understand everything in this world truth. Although the giant snake Jormungandr has unparalleled power and a huge body that can wrap around the world, it feels that it lacks enough wisdom. So, one day, it turned into a small snake and sneaked into the kingdom of heaven, ready to steal this enlightenment fruit. However, just when it was about to succeed, it was nailed to a tree with a dagger. It is said that the one who killed it, was the one who told Jormungandr about this wisdom fruit. Want to obtain unparalleled wisdom, but die in conspiracy, even the giant snake Jormungandr can't escape. This story tells us that those who chase wisdom too much will also indulge in conspiracy. Well, this story is a lot like a bedtime prophecy for a child. However, the story of wisdom and conspiracy reminded Chen Heoran of Zinch, one of the four gods, for no reason. God of wisdom and intrigue. There is something wrong with that book. This is Chen Heoran's intuition. However, when it comes to big shots at the level of the four gods, I can't handle it by myself. 
After thinking about it, Chen Heioran finally called Wei Sheng, the owner of the Amber Domain, after the celebration banquet. This phone call, after the battle with Sha Xin before, Wei Sheng noticed the power fluctuation of the evil god. Leave this phone number for Chen Heioran. 4.4 is to let Chen Heioran contact him in time if he finds that he has been contaminated. Okay, I understand. What you found is very valuable. Wei Sheng praised after hearing Chen Heioran's words. As for that Miss Lu Lily, I will personally and carefully investigate. The matter of that book, you keep it a secret. That book is very likely to be the beacon of the evil god. Don't let more people know. The more people know, the greater the pollution. I will take it back carefully. Understood, Lord Master. What about the safety of Lily Senpei? Wei Sheng was silent. I'll take good care of her. Putting down the phone, Chen Heioran was also a little silent, and something about the evil god suddenly popped up. This made him feel whether the Sishin Research Society was being targeted. In the final analysis, it is still not strong enough. When you can beat the evil god violently, there will be no problems. Today happened to be the last day of the blood match cooldown and regular match in Legend of the Tea Stove. This means that Chen Heioran can draw two cards today. And tomorrow is the final match. Chen Heioran didn't hesitate, and directly started the blood match. In the domain of the gods, the space channel slowly connects to the unknown domain of the gods, sealing off the interference of other gods. The breath coming from the passage made Chen Heioran feel familiar. This feeling, it's a bit like the breath used by the magic courage but it's not the same. Who, who dares to invade the kingdom of the elves? This is the eternal sunset town. Retreat quickly, if you don't, you will surely die here. The voice resounded through the sky. But Chen Heioran felt a little guilty. The aggression was done by the legend of the tea stove, and it is impossible for me to die. Then do it. The melodious horn sounded. For some reason, the sound of the horn reminded Chen Heioran of the harvest horn blowing on the golden wheat field, not like a military horn. From the space passage, came out one after another tall and slender elves with pointed ears. However, they were different from the wood elves that Chen Heioran had encountered before. These elves were dressed in exquisite armor, and the long swords they held in their hands seemed to be forged from fine steel. O6 oh, excellent workmanship and good equipment. The skin on its body is even more faintly golden, which is quite different from the light green of the wood elves. It's the sun elf. With the nickname of the sun chaser, he likes to live in places with plenty of sunshine. The highest god in his belief is the sun god. From what the god said, this is the eternal sunset town, the kingdom of elves, so we can guess. This god himself is also a sun elf, and his kindred live in the domain of the gods. Behind these elf warriors, followed by white lions. The white lion is a race with a race potential of C, and its temperament is fierce. The body length of a white lion can reach more than 6 meters. These white lions walked with the calmness of the king of beasts, their long manes fluttering slightly, and their white fur glistened in the sun. Hoot! The white lions raised their heads slightly and roared towards the sky, revealing sharp teeth that could even penetrate armor made of fine steel. The white lions have a psychic temperament and can cooperate well with the riders on them. On their backs are the most valiant warriors of the Sun Elf clan. This army is called the White Lion Guards. It is the iron army of the Sun Elves who charge into battle. After the White Lion, there came out one after another some strange looking creatures. Lion head, sheep body, snake tail. The surface of the body is covered with colorful skin, and the saliva from the saliva inadvertently fell to the ground, corroding out many small potholes. It's Chimera. Chimeras are mysterious creatures that live in the jungle. There is an inexplicable relationship between this creature and elves, and there are many types of elves that can raise chimeras. But this is the way to raise the royal family of the key elves. So this country or the place where the gods are, is where the royal family of the sun elves is located. There are more than 20 chimeras coming out of the space passage, and these chimeras are screaming with their heads raised. Oddly enough, they didn't start marching there, but were waiting for something. In the space channel, a clear and melodious sound sounded, the tone was like the voice of a child. Chen Heioran had a bad feeling. A dragon-shaped creature slowly flew out from the space channel. The colors on his body are as colorful as a rainbow, and under his long neck is a noble figure, and his every move reveals an elegant beauty. 
It's Rainbow Dragon. No, it's a Rainbow Drake. This Rainbow Dragon is clearly not yet at adulthood. There are three pairs of wings on its body, namely a pair of tail fins on the tail, a pair of colorful wings on the lower abdomen, and a pair of huge side wings that support it to fly. A pair of colorful wings on the lower abdomen is like a child's toy, but don't underestimate it. It is Rainbow Dragons, the main magic power emitting organ. Rainbow Dragons are geniuses who are good at magic among all kinds of dragon creatures. They are very sensitive to the energy of various attributes. They are somewhat similar to golden humans, but their talents are far higher than golden humans. This pair of colorful magic wings can send out various attribute energy attacks between breaths, which is a very difficult race. If I remember correctly, Chen Heoran remembers that the racial potential of the Rainbow Dragon is higher than that of the SS Northern Five Color Dragon. It is a dreamlike race, even in the multiverse and the crystal wall system, it is quite a rare race. What is the origin of this eternal setting sun township, or rather the place where the demigod is, that there is a Rainbow Dragon? It can be said that this is the race with the highest potential that Chen Heoran has encountered in various battles so far. If it's an adult Rainbow Dragon, Luo Sheui's magic attribute attack plus her magic spell just now can't catch up with an adult Rainbow Dragon. This lineup is a bit luxurious. Chen Heoran secretly thought. Seeing that Chen Heoran didn't respond, the god of the other party was furious. He thinks that some despicable and shameless gods who hide their heads and show their tails have sneaked into his god's domain, and used some special method to seal the battlefield of the god's domain war, trying to kill himself. Those who invade the homeland of the Japanese elves are unforgivable. The angry words resounded through the sky. On the battlefield, the sun elves felt the wrath of the gods they believed in, and began to march slowly towards Chen Heoran's army formation. A wave of divine art flashed. Whether it is the well-equipped sun elf warrior or the white lion guard, each of their armors is condensed with a faint glow of the setting sun. This feeling. Chen Heoran didn't have time to think about it, the other party had already rushed towards his front row. Chen Heoran put the rock gold troll in front, and separated the Lionheart knights, ready to attack the opposite flank at any time. The light of the setting sun shrouded these white lions, like knights charging towards the sun, extremely brave and dazzling. When they were about to get close to the rock gold troll, these white lions leapt vigorously, and their sharp minions grabbed the rock gold troll's neck. Its jumping ability is amazing, between one jump, its minions can reach a height of 7 meters. The Yanjin trolls laughed and blocked the mace made of fine steel in front of them. Prick. When the sharp claws clashed with the mace, there was an ear-piercing sound of pressure. Some rock gold trolls fought back, but when the mace was about to approach the body of the white lion, they seemed to be frozen for a moment. After a slight pause, the dexterous bodies of the white lions already dodged the attack. This afterglow of the setting sun attached to the opposite army. It should be the effect of the magic spell just now. It seems that it has the effect of knowing the attack. The effect of this defensive magic technique is not bad. When the armies of the two sides began to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, a bloody battle kicked off. Bloody matching is a battle in the domain of the gods of death. Every time a believer dies, it is a real death. It is very different from the shining star cup in this regard. Therefore, the use of healing magic needs to be very cautious. Chen Heoran quickly used the healing totem, and at the same time, Cyber Tower held the real silver holy sword and was also at the forefront. Chen Heoran was the first to release these two divine arts that could heal slowly all the time to protect the soldiers on the battlefield. However, even so, many golden human warriors were injured and killed in the confrontation with the Sun Elf warriors and the White Lion guards. That magical technique that condenses the afterglow of the setting sun is very disgusting. As we all know, when fighting on the battlefield, sometimes there is just a little time between life and death. This magical technique can slightly freeze the opponent's attack when the enemy's weapon is about to approach him. There are many golden human fighters who thought they could make meritorious attacks, but such a stagnation allowed the enemy to seize the opportunity and was counter-killed. Just like that, many golden human warriors were killed. Although there are some casualties among the believers under his command. However, Chen Heoran didn't use some healing magic, but just maintained the situation like this. This eternal setting sun village gave him a feeling of danger. Probably because of his growing strength, 
the level of opponents that the legend of the tea stove gave him has also begun to rise. Let's see what cards are on the other side. They saw that the white lion guards and elf warriors had fallen into a deadlock in the fight with Chen Heoran. The opponent's gods seemed to be unable to hold back. More than 20 chimeras began to join the battle. Between his breaths, he spit out corrosive poison and shot towards the rock gold troll. Zzzz. The metal thick skin of the rock gold troll that was shot began to be corroded rapidly, exposing the bright red flesh and blood inside. The granulation was wriggling crazily, but it couldn't resist the speed of corrosion. Even, the rock gold troll felt that his recovery ability was slightly weakened under this corrosive venom. As soon as these chimeras came on stage, they put the rock gold trolls in a dangerous situation, and they were extremely embarrassed. Intruder, this is your strength. With such strength, you dare to covet my kingdom of elves. The enemy gods uttered all kinds of low and inexplicable words. At this time, the rainbow young dragon let out a clear cry outside the battlefield. The violent fire attribute energy began to fluctuate. In the sky, a dark red cloud slowly formed above the heads of Chen Heoran's army. This huge cloud of fire hung over Chen Heoran's army and was about to fall. Chen Heoran. Afterwards, countless meteors started to fall with burning flames, and the speed became faster and faster, just like the missiles in the previous life. As soon as this rainbow young dragon makes a move, is it a big killer move like meteor fire rain? Chen Heoran hastily used the divine spell, Holy Shield. The meteor and the holy shield kept colliding violently. Relying on the holy shield to survive this wave, the rainbow dragon puffed its mouth, and seemed very dissatisfied with the effect of its spell. His expression moved slightly, and he began to brew spells again, and the surging natural force condensed on the battlefield. Still coming, after the shower of meteors and fire, followed by the land of thorns. On the ground, there are countless thorns and thorns. These economic sticks are as high as 2 meters, attacking and harassing the Chen Heoran army within the range. Obstructing Chen Heoran's army, dividing the formation of Chen Heoran's army. The bald knights took the lead bravely, one by one began to swing their long swords, and began to chop up these thorns. After finally clearing up these thorns, in the sky, starlight appeared, and dazzling starlight shone on the ground. This is, Starfall. Countless stars began to bombard the earth like laser cannons. The holy shield couldn't hold on any longer and began to crack. 666. The holy shields were shattered one by one, but the starlight still did not stop. No solution anymore. Divine art, reign of tranquility. Countless raindrops full of natural power appeared, healing the bodies of the soldiers and resisting the damage of starlight. No, you can't let the only young dragon output. This is the card cannon. Chen Heoran slapped his head, and directly used the magic, sacrifice. Between breaths, Cyberta turned into a golden giant and joined the battlefield. He rushed directly towards the rainbow young dragon, wanting to solve this biggest threat. The rainbow young dragon seemed to be taken aback. Among the various magics it mastered, many of them were displacement magics. It hurriedly used the displacement spell and stayed away from the battlefield and the enemy gods directly used a divine technique. Like the afterglow of the setting sun, streaks of dim yellow light attached to Cyberta's body. As these lights attach, Cyberta moves slower and slower. Under these dim lights, Chen Heoran felt that Cyber Tower's power was constantly losing, and seemed to be in a state of decay. Dusk, decay, day. Chen Heoran vaguely guessed the other party's priesthood. After the rainbow dragon was scared away from the battlefield, the magic bombardment on the battlefield finally stopped. Chen Heoran's purpose was to interrupt his magic support. Here, even though he was hit by the magical spell just now, Cyberta's power began to drain, and his movements began to slow down. However, this is not something that any single soldier on the field can stop. Since the rainbow drakes couldn't catch up, Cyberta turned and aimed at more than 20 chimeras. The real silver holy sword was swiped vigorously, and the light on it was the light of the rising sun. It echoes with the setting sun Yuhui de Qianhao, who is condensed and attached to Cyber Tower. Cracking. A shrill wail sounded, and the head of a chimera was knocked down. The corrosive venom spewed by the chimera hit Cyber Tower. Corroding the Cyber Tower, white smoke rose, but under the treatment of the real silver holy sword, it returned to its original appearance within a breath. 
What can't be done with the Rainbow Dragon, can't be done with Chimera. Cyber Tower is now an above-board behemoth rushing into battle. The enemy gods seemed to have no choice. After losing the support of the Rainbow Drake, the formation was constantly torn into pieces. And whenever the Rainbow Dragon wants to get close, it will be scared away by Cyberta's charge. Woohoo! The charge horn sounded. On one side, the Lionheart Knights, who had been waiting for a long time, began to charge. Under heavy attack from Cyber Tower and the Knights, the Japanese elf formation that had persisted for a long time began to slowly collapse. War is like this, when it is a balance of power, the two sides can entangle for a long time. However, once one side has a downturn, it will collapse like dominoes afterwards. The Sun Elf finally failed. Capturing the opponent's believers, preparing to sacrifice to one's own gods, looking for the opponent's godhead, and finally breaking the godhead, absorbing the opponent's perception of the rules of the priesthood, all these are routine actions. Is it the god of twilight and sunset? In the opponent's godhead, countless comprehensions of rules were floating, Chen Heioran's consciousness swept over these, and he immediately understood the two magic spells used by the enemy god before. A magic spell, named Armor of Dusk, is a magic spell to condense the afterglow of the setting sun on one's own army. Using the power of the setting sun's decay as one's own guarding force can weaken the opponent's attack and make it dull before the enemy's attack falls on oneself. This divine art fits with Chen Heioran's guardian priesthood to a certain extent, so Chen Heioran absorbed the rules and comprehended it, and learned this divine art. This twilight armor is quite good, if it is combined with the holy shield, it can greatly improve the resistance of the holy shield. The second divine spell cast by the god of twilight and setting sun is the divine spell he cast on cyber tower, and it is called day of decay. All things are born and die, even the sun has a day to set. Day of Decay 297 is to use the power of decay, so that the power of Cyber Tower is constantly decaying. It is a very powerful magic spell with negative effects. However, this divine technique is not very consistent with Chen Heioran's priesthood, and Chen Heioran did not learn it. The comprehension of the rules in it caused the mutation of the divine art Holy Shield. Inside the divine spirit orb, hints began to come. Hint, you have learned the divine art, Armor of Dusk. Reminder, your divine art, Holy Shield, has undergone a mutation, and has gained a decay effect. Decay. Any enemy who attacks the Holy Shield will begin to decay in its own strength. Yes, it is a surprise that the understanding of the rules of Day of Decay can be absorbed by the Holy Shield. Now Chen Heioran's Holy Shield has three effects of burning, poisoning and decay. These negative effects are increasing. This reminded Chen Heioran of the artifact that he had seen in his previous life, Twilight 12 Movements. It is said that this artifact can allow a person to be judged by 12 negative effects at the same time. Perhaps, in the future, my own holy shield technique can also have 12 kinds of negative effects. Once the enemy attacks the holy shield, they will be disturbed by 12 kinds of negative effects at the same time, or even more. In addition, a special resource was captured in the other party's god's domain. This is, the Twilight Orb. Relevant information flashed in his mind, the Twilight Orb can allow the gods to comprehend the magical arts related to brilliance, and the materials irradiated by it can be forged into light attributed armor, which has a very good effect on fighting against dark attributed creatures. Moreover, Chen Heioran remembered that the Twilight Orb could be combined with the Rising Sun Orb and the Blazing Sun Orb to become the Sun God Jade. The Sun God Jade has a great effect on the Sun, Brilliance, and even the Priesthood of Healing. Good baby, not bad. Chen Heioran happily put it away. In addition, after capturing the opponent's believers, a grand sacrifice also brought Chen Heioran a rich amount of faith points. The huge belief points are also transformed into Chen Heioran's divine power all the time. At this time, Chen Heioran's accumulated divine power has far exceeded the need to ignite the divine fire. Next, it's time for the exciting draw of card packs. The first is the bloody card pack. The blood red crate was displayed in front of Chen Heioran, as if it was a trophy fished out of a pool of blood. The skull hammer smiled cheaply. The white bones knocked on the blood-stained box. Boom, boom, boom. Then, the box shattered open. The light inside. Well, well, another day without a golden legend. However, there is a hint of purple revealed. 
This purple color instantly caught Chen Heoran's attention. There is actually a purple epic. What kind of card is Let Me Kang Kong? Divine Art, AGCC, Card, Holy Grail, according to legend, what is contained in the Holy Grail is the blood of God. It takes a lot of divine power and faith to make the Holy Grail in advance, and when it is used, activate the power in it with divine magic, which can last for a long time. Only devout believers and above believers can withstand the power of the Holy Grail. After drinking this bowl of Holy Grail, one will never be a human again. Those who drink the Holy Grail, they can share the power of divinity and faith. They are not human anymore, they are living saints, powerful and perfect. Never tireless, terrifying self-healing ability, always at the peak of physical strength. From charge to charge, from victory to victory. Those who drink from the Holy Grail are unstoppable. The effect of this Holy Grail, Chen Heoran looked at it and swallowed his saliva, it is very, very powerful, but he has a condition that requires all believers and above, and the scorecard states that it will consume a considerable amount of power and faith, and he does not know the specifics how much do you want, use this card. Hint, you have learned the magic card, Holy Grail. At the moment when he learned the magic card, Holy Grail, Chen Heoran felt that his understanding of the priesthood of healing had taken a step further. This divine technique is very powerful, and Chen Heoran has already flashed many tactical methods to match the Holy Grail. Speaking of which, tomorrow is the final, so you can let the helper see the power of the Holy Grail. Chen Heoran rubbed his chin, thinking maliciously. However, the top priority is to screen out his devout believers. Chen Heoran checked his divine spirit orb, and the digitized information in the divine spirit orb appeared. God Interface God name, Yan Wang. Position, God of Healing and Guardian. Divine Order, Demigod. Faith points 104,563 points. Divine Power, 7,435 points. Unlit Divine Fire. Kingdom of God, not established. Believer's Race, Rock Gold Troll, Golden Human, Wacko White House. Divine Art, Holy Shield, with Burning, Poisoning, Decay, Courage, Sacrifice, Secret Witchcraft, Natural Nourishment, Tranquil Rain, Holy Grail, Healing Totem. Special Buildings, Stone Heart Chapel, Silver Bone Chapel, Golden Soul Chapel. Special Resources, Spring of Life, Orb of Twilight. Divine Area, Thousands of Miles in Radius. Number of Believers, Shallow Believers, 9348 Deep Believers, 4556 Pious Believers, 1032 Fanatics, 12. Through the development of this period of time, the number of followers of Chen Heoran has also continued to grow. That's because during this period of time, Chen Heoran's God's domain was accelerating time all the time. Anyway, there are enough resources now, and the time acceleration in God's domain is not a particularly big consumption for him. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.